welcome back to Jubilee Road. For today's video then, we're going to do something, well, slightly different and look at a very interesting type of steam locomotive. As you saw by the title, we are today, we are looking at articulated steam locomotives. Well, what is an articulated steam locomotive? I'm going to get into that briefly in this video and then we're going to have a running session here with my articulated steam locomotives. So, what is it and why do they exist? In front of you, we have two different steam locomotives, both uh, from America, uh, operated by different railroads, you probably can see that. One of them is an articulated steam locomotive, and one isn't. So, let's have a little look at the differences between the two and talk a little bit by why they exist. The logo we're going to have a look first then is this one. Now, this is a 282 tender steam locomotive uh, from the Pennsylvania Railroad and it is number 9627. Now, this locomotive has one set of driving wheels and I believe it's a two cylinder locomotive. Uh, if you are from America and know this locomotive, please tell me because I don't know if it has any uh, inside cylinders. I don't believe it does. Now, this loco is what's known as a fixed chassis locomotive. Now, the wheel at the front here, yes, still swivels as it goes around curves and point work just to help a little bit to uh, navigate those points on the railway. Now, if we go a little bit further this way, here are the eight driving wheels, obviously for each side. Now, these are completely fixed. So as a, the loco goes around the corner, they do not move, as you can see there. They are fixed in place. So these locomotives will find it harder to go around sharper curves. Well, someone came up with a rather good idea to sort that. Let's go and have a look at the other locomotive. And here is that other locomotive. So we are looking at a locomotive from the C&O, which is the Chesapeake and Ohio, and this one is numbered 1523. Now instantly you can see quite a difference to the locomotive we have just seen. This has four cylinders. Now some locomotives in the UK have four cylinders, but they are driving the same set of driving wheels. So one set of uh, driving wheels is being driven by four cylinders. But here, it's not. As you can see, this is a 2662. Now that's completely mad when you think about it. Now, two sets of driving wheels. We've got the front set of pistons here, second ones here. Now what this allows is for these, each, as you can see, if I'll try and demonstrate it, these swivel independently of each other and the body on the top. So that means they can have a much longer locomotive with more driving wheels which can go round the sharper curve. So it has a lot better route availability because if this was fixed all here, this would probably derail around even the more gentle curves, I would imagine. So I've touched upon what is the biggest benefit of an articulated steam locomotive. Very simple. So it can go around tighter curves and you can have a much larger, larger sorry, uh, locomotive. Now, you might be thinking, it's only American locos that have this uh, feature. You'd be wrong, because it really isn't. There is a number of European locos that have it, especially on narrow gauge. I know the Hearts Mountains, I think, has one, as far as I'm aware. Is there any in the UK? Yes. Yeah, there is a few in the UK, believe it or not. Now. The largest articulated steam locomotive still in operation here in the UK is the Garretts at the Welsh Highland Railway. Now, same principle, they are articulated locomotives. I know the uh, wheel configuration is completely different to the loco you see in front of you, but they exist. Also, the Double Fairley at the Fistinyog Railway is technically is an articulated steam locomotive. It's two locomotives back to back, I know, but the wheels do swivel independently of what the body is doing to help the, you know, how sharp the curves are on that railway. So that's what they come up with. It's a really great idea. Now, I believe 
there were some standard gauge locomotives in this country which had that feature which I believe the LMS Garrett now please correct me if I'm wrong I believe that's also an articulated steam locomotive Helgen did a model and they do swivel independently of each other you can get a much more powerful locomotive on tighter track and it spreads the weight out the more wheels a locomotive has it can spread the weight out a lot more than a locomotive has less wheels and the same weight. I hope you can sort of get the idea of what that is. Now I have three articulated steam locomotives here at Jubilee Road and they're all as you might guess American. We have this one. Now please please someone tell me is there a Pacific name for this this locomotive because I really don't know. Uh, we've also got a Union Pacific Challenger and then the most famous articulated locomotive of them all which happens to be the biggest locomotive of all, the Union Pacific Big Boy, which an incredible, incredible uh, size on that locomotive. So there, there we go. That is what an articulated mo locomotive is and why they exist and the differences between a fixed locomotive and an articulated locomotive. We are now going to go and have a uh, running session here at the layout featuring the three uh, articulated locomotives I have here. Uh, we're going to have two shots of each, two have sound, including this one, a lot older decoder, so bear that in mind. And then the big boy is uh, DCC ready, but I'm sure we'll have a great running session. So thank you for listening to me. I hope uh, give you a bit of education. You probably knew what they were already. So thank you very much for watching today. I'm now going to leave you with the sights and sounds of American articulated steam here at Jubilee Road. I'll be back with loads more railway content for you very soon. Bye everyone.